guys hello welcome back to my channel please comment share like subscribe if any of this is resonating for you love all my subs y'all are so awesome thanks for tuning in guys yeah super important messages i need to push out like as soon as i started getting these messages today and they were later on the day i was like oh snap <laughs> i need to get these out like super fast i don't know why um guys this is not a joke <laughs> I love y'all so much. Please, um, please keep praying, staying in the word. We're so close, bro. We are so close. Um, guys, let's just read Isaiah chapter 19 first, okay? <laughs> and it's proclamation against Egypt. And remember when I was, um, first got to read, like, a couple of the proclamations against the different cities? and nations uh yeah <laughs> yeah bro all right so it says the burden against egypt behold the lord rides on a swift cloud and will come into egypt the idols of egypt will totter at his presence and the heart of egypt will melt in its midst i will set egyptians against egyptians everyone will fight against his brother and everyone against his neighbor city against city kingdom against kingdom the spirit of Egypt will fall in its midst. I will destroy their council, and they will consult the idols and the charmers, the mediums and the sorcerers, and the Egyptians I will give into the hand of a cruel master, and a fierce king will rule over them, says the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Bro. Oh my God. The waters will fail from the sea. It says fail. And the river will be wasted and dried up. The rivers will turn foul. The brooks of defense will be emptied and dried up. The reeds and rushes will wither. The papyrus reeds by the river, by the mouth of the river, and everything sown by the river will wither, be driven away, and be no more. The fishermen also will mourn. All those will lament who cast hooks into the river, and they will languish who spread nets on the waters. Moreover, those who work in fine flax and those who weave fine fabric will be ashamed and its foundations will be broken all who make wages will be troubled of soul oh, dude. surely the princes of Zoan are fools pharaoh's wise counselors give foolish counsel how do you say to pharaoh i am the son of the wise the son of ancient kings where are they where are your wise men let them tell you now and let them know what the lord of hosts has purpose against Egypt. The princes of Zoan have become fools. The princes of Nof are deceived. They have also deluded Egypt, those who are the mainstay of its tribes. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in her minds, in her midst, and they have caused Egypt to err in all her work. As a drunken man staggers in his vomit, neither will there be any work for Egypt, which the which the head or tail, palm branch or bulrush may do. For you. In that day, Egypt will be like women and will be afraid and fear because of the waving of the hand of the Lord and of hosts, which he waves over it. And the land of Judah will be a terror to Egypt. Everyone who makes mention of it will be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he has determined against it. Dude. I was getting that very strongly. <laughs> Love you guys. Please repent. <laughs> um, okay. And then, let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to read Matthew chapter 10. Oh, shoot. My bad. My bad, dude. <laughs> Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Okay. Matthew chapter 10, starting at verse 40. A cup of cold water. He who receives you receives me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. He who receives a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he who receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives one of these little ones 
Only a cup of cold water in the name of a disciple, assuredly I say to you, he shall by no means lose his reward. Dude, it was so cool too, because like in my notes I had written reward earlier in the day. And then right after it, without thinking, you know, I was getting signs and I wrote down like cold water. That's what I was getting. A cup of cold water. And then the two are right next to each other, which is so awesome, dude. Yeah, super awesome. Um guys this is why i feel like this really needs to go out and it is really important i just had like this epiphany <laughs> um but i was looking looking at uh plutonium for whatever reason it just popped in my head okay um and it's actually a radioactive chemical uh used in like nuclear power plants <laughs> i had no idea I had no idea. Um, and upon inhalation, it's most dangerous. Okay. Um, yeah, I I was getting that, and I had to research some of it. And uh, yeah, that, that's what I got about that. Um, I I don't know how much more research I'm supposed to do on that, <laughs> but yeah, um, very interesting, guys. Yeah, just um, if you if you are getting signs, make sure that they are from God. Keep praying. Keep meditating on the word. Okay. Um, and, and this needs to go out to some of y'all, but no matter how much you try to do good works, uh, your good works are empty in the sight of God. Okay? Without His grace, you need to talk to Him, if that makes sense. <laughs> to some of you guys, yeah. You, you need to get on your knees, get on your face, and pray to God. Um, because the things that, you know, you're giving, the things that you're doing um yeah um yeah sorry I, I don't know who that needs to go out to but yeah you guys need to be praying um getting on your face every single day morning and night <laughs> or however often the spirit moves you to do so um yo dude and also um <laughs> okay so I'm supposed to read Hosea and then I'll tell y'all uh, some other stuff <laughs> alright so Hosea chapter 3 Israel will return to God then the Lord said to me go again love a woman who is loved by a lover and is committing adultery just like the love of the Lord for the children of Israel who look to other gods and love the raisin cakes of the pagans so I bought her for myself for 15 shekels of silver and one and one half homers of barley. And I said to her, You shall stay with me many days. You shall not play the harlot, nor shall you have a man. So too will I be toward you. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without king or prince, without sacrifice or sacred pillar, without ephod or teraphim. Afterward, the children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. They shall fear the Lord and his goodness in the latter days. Beautiful, guys. Yeah, I'm getting you guys are doing the right stuff. Um, witchcraft is back a little bit. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, do what you have to do. <laughs> you know who you are at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, love you guys so much. Y'all are so awesome. Um, yeah, we need to stay on the straight and narrow path, bro. Um, whatever you're attached to in this world. Um, yeah, it's not going to last. Um, and if you love this world, you love Satan. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you guys this the whole time. Um, and I have this little thing on my board. And it's, he who is inside of me is greater than he who was in this world. Okay, just remember that, guys. We are powerful. We are so powerful. We are reigning with Jesus right now, bro. <laughs> Not even joking. Not even joking. Um, and then also, dude, I was getting... Um, last Friday, I randomly, you know, was flipping through the stations. And, of course, I listen to pastors a lot. And this is one of my favorite ones. But he was talking about... Enoch and Elijah and how they were actually raptured dude yeah which is so cool 
yeah, I think we should all be striving to be on their level, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, they're so awesome. They're so awesome. But yeah, um, and I know we're just doing so many awesome things for so many people. Um, it's great. I was talking to one of um, the ladies at, at my work, um, and um, she was talking about going home, you know, like home, like heaven home. And I told her, I was like, I'm ready to go already. <laughs> and she was like, no, you still have work to do here. <laughs> I was like, I know. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, dude, I wish I could end it on a light note, but I am being guided to read this passage. <laughs> um, it's Revelation chapter 13 and verse... 16. I'm supposed to start at verse 16. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Chapter 13, verse 16. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except one who has a mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Felt that one, bro. <laughs> Felt that one. It's coming. Yeah. Y'all don't know. You better ask somebody. <laughs> yeah. It's coming. But we woke. All right? We won't be deceived. Okay? We need to stay in the word every single day. Yeah. Um, if y'all don't know how... Um, to read the Bible, if y'all want suggestions, um, get with a strong pastor, get with those, uh, strong churches, hit me up offline for prayer, bro, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not even joking, it is very serious. <laughs> I am super serious right now. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much, I can just feel the love and the growth, um, please turn, turn away from it, whatever it is, yeah, turn, flee from it, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys so much. And yeah, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.